What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on here. We're going to go ahead and look, and we're showing on our power strip how much power we're consuming. And the only thing we've got plugged up is just the computer, just the, uh, you know, the power supply going to the computer, and that's it. Uh, we're showing at, uh, at idle on the screen. We have nothing going on. And right here on the screen, we've got nothing going on. There's no background processes that are running to uh, consume a bunch of power. And I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff. And I'll go ahead and start recording real quick. Okay, I'm going to start recording right now with the uh, <clears throat> the process called Relive. And it has started. And we immediately went from 80 watts to 150 watts. We are currently recording everything on the screen. And uh, you can see me now. So, hey, we're uh, pulling 149 watts or so. And, you know, that that's fine. Um, I want to demonstrate the power consumption of this motherboard processor, RAM, and hard drives, solid state drives, and graphics processor. So currently, we're just recording the main screen. Let's open up a web browser, and here we go. So currently, we opened up our web browser. And we got two pages up. This is my main page. And you can see, you know, a Ryzen processor, you know, the uh, the BIOS on two of the uh, other setups, Crisis 3, recent upload. You know, look at me advertising my stuff. So we went up to 170 watts and went back down to 151, 152. So we increased about 3 watts for the two browsers. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out the two browsers. So I closed out the two browsers, and now we're back to 150, 151 watts or so. So we was, you know, doing somewhere around two to three watts. It's up in the air. Now let's try something else. Let's run our and our test. We're going to go ahead and open up. Uh, vacuum chamber here it is a nine minute video and we're going to go ahead and render this in the highest resolution possible without a gpu accelerator so OpenGL will not be allowed to run see normally you know this will be OpenGL right here but we're not going to do that we're not not going to run any open gl so apply uh, go to OK and then I'm going to go ahead and render this video in real time in 4K at 23 frames a second and there we go and overwrite because it's the same thing it's already there and we're going to go ahead and let this run so you can see that we're currently still recording through the computer and we're also rendering this video and rendering this video in 4k 23 frames a second and we're pulling about 248 watts 247 watt 235 watts so you can see how it's actually fluctuating a lot now it's going up and down and the reason why it's going up and down is because it's using a different amount of power back and forth. Uh, it's not going up and down a lot, but it's going up and down. Now, being that that is said, you can see how much power we're consuming, which is 230 to 250 watts of power. Now, there's no real reason I need to continue rendering this video because this video has already been complete. So I'm going to demonstrate something else. I'm going to cancel and close this out. And close. And we're going to go over here and start up a game. 
Uh, let's slam in over here. And we're back to 159 watts. We're starting to load some new software that's not been run. So, we're loading, loading, loading. And we're going to go ahead and smack on Crisis 3. It's, uh, it's the most de demanding software I currently got. I mean, I guess I could use uh, GTA 5, but uh, I don't know. Just that's, uh, that's a game I had to download, and I got deleted. It's not that big. setup we're benching as crisis for the load and you can see as we're loading up I went ahead and muted the audio etc etc that way you guys can hear me clearly and we're loading up and we're still pulling, you know, 170 watts, 171, 188. It's going up because we're filling up that RAM. Now let's go ahead and in. Cells in full retreat. And they'll hold up at the next yeah. space. So we'll probably try and turn this whole area into a kill zone. We shot up to 130 to 160 watts. Let's just walk around a little bit. Please forgive me, I'm not that great at the uh, mouse and keyboard, so. perspective you can see how much power we're consuming even we press pause we're still consuming the same amount of power as you can see we're still rendering everything in the background beyond this so if you're gonna be playing games and you're done make sure you turn off your computer if you want a lower electric bill at least if you're gonna be able to press pause now if you're gonna sit back down finish your game I would definitely understand you don't want to press pause because you want to get to the next location but in this reality, when you're playing video games, it's way more demanding than it is when you're rendering videos. Now, I have done that process test with OpenGL activated on my software, and it, it's roughly about the same. Maybe the graphics card increases the power consumption by 5 or 6%. It's not a lot. So I didn't even think to put it in there, but I just wanted to show you how much power the processor alone consumes whenever you're running this type of setup. Now you can actually improve the efficiency of this by getting a more efficient graphics card. This is an R9-280X and it's got a 6-pin and an 8-pin connector and if you was to want to get more efficiency and probably even better performance you can get it. Uh, R4, uh, RX 460 graphics card it uses one six pin connector and is really efficient in fact it's only got a single card slot because the cooler doesn't have to be big at all because they don't put out much power don't consume much power they're more efficient every day the graphics processors that come out become more powerful more efficient and more reliable so I hope you guys like this video of showing you how much power it consumes to render videos and edit videos on the Ryzen uh, 1800X CPU. Thanks for watching. This is Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Booyah. 
Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.